Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to do a couple little crafts. Now, I don't do, like, fancy stuff. I don't know high-end <laughs> from my honey. <laughs> I just do what I like. I do what I enjoy. And that's just, that's what you're going to get from me. If you're coming looking for a... um a craft channel where you get all these beautiful things you're just going to get me you're going to get me in a, a piece of art <laughs> anyway i like what i do and i think that's all that matters i like who i am i don't mind that i'm not you know fancy i'm just who i am it's what my daughter told me when she was in the first grade she did something, and I said, Holly, why did you do that? And she looked at me without missing a beat, and she goes, that's just who I am. <laughs> that's kind of how we live our life. That's just who we are. That's who I am. That's who my kids are, and we just take it and run with it. So anyway, what I want to show you is how I decoupage baskets. I cannot paint I have, and I, I think I even said it in this video, I have zero artistic ability. I cannot paint. I cannot write. I, I can't letter, like, when I see some of these girls doing these crafts and they, they write, you know, really pretty. Because I don't have a cricket, so I can't do that. I cannot, I, I try on paper. I cannot write pretty. I, I, I don't have an artistic ability for things like that. I can just, I think what I said was manipulate supplies. I can just do this, that, or the other. Anyway, this is how I like to do baskets. It looks like it was painted on. So that's as close as I'm ever going to get to doing, <laughs> doing a piece of artwork. It's made with napkins or tissue paper. The thin, thin stuff, that's what makes it press into the basket weave and look like it was painted on. So, I did a couple of baskets that I found at Wanda's, and um, actually all three I found at Wanda's. One is a cute little teacup and saucer basket. I just thought it was too cute. I had to get it, and I, I just didn't know what I was going to do with it, and I think it turned out pretty good. So, I just want to show you those two things. You don't have to do what I did. You don't have to do, you know, you can make yours any old way you want, any kind of basket, just not big weave. Um, big, bigger, wider weave baskets, they don't work as well as the, the smaller weave. So, maybe after you see this technique, you will go out and look at napkins and tissue paper at the Dollar Tree or the party supply house or the thrift store. Get them from the thrift store. You're not going to put them on your face. You're going to put them on a craft so it doesn't matter. Even if they're Completely sealed at the thrift store. I'm still not putting them on my face. I'm still not putting them on my face, but I will put them on a basket. So, anyway, let's get started. Hope you enjoy it. Learn a little new technique. Something fun to do. Something anybody can do. You need no artistic ability whatsoever. And I am living proof, which you're going to see now. Okay, let's get started on our baskets. These are the baskets we're going to use. And I noticed when I got over here in the light, I didn't quite get the spray paint all the way over the edge. When I get through with this, I'll just go back with some white acrylic paint and touch that up. So that's no big deal. But I found these at Wanda's. This is your typical brown basket. Now, I'm going to show you what we're going to use. This is my collection of napkins and tissue paper. This is the one I wanted to do. But I got over here looking and it's a little bit too big for this little basket. So we're not going to use that one. This one does not go in the kitchen. This one obviously is for Christmas. I already have a basket. I'm going to put that on. This one does not go. This is going on another basket for sure. This is my favorite one. Not sure which basket, but this is definitely going on a basket. And this I'm going to use. I don't care for the seashell in the middle but I do like the designs around the outside so that leaves these two tissue papers I have my okay I was just talking and a cutting and didn't even have my camera turned on <laughs> so 
So what I did was I cut out so I could get some whole bouquets. And I'm thinking the pink behind there is not really going to hurt. I don't think it's going to hurt it. But I wanted to cut it enough to get some whole pieces. So I'm going to hold it up to the basket. And we'll need some more of that. Now let's see what we can get out of this one. This yellow flower. So cut as close to the design that you want as you can because you don't want background in it any more than you need. The tissue paper will fade into, I'll just leave that, it will fade into the basket, I promise you. I have done this plenty of times. This is the only way I can paint a basket. I have no artistic ability whatsoever. I can just manipulate um, supplies, if that makes sense. Oh, I dropped it. Hold on. Now that is going to go. So let's just continue cutting out um, different flowers. All right, I got these. I'm going to um, cut some out of the other one and see which one I like the best or if I like them both. So this one, I think, okay, we're not going to use the white, obviously, because it'll blend in. So let's start with this one. Okay, now this one, the white's going to blend in with the white, but I'm going to leave it to see if that black outline will show up and it still looks like a white flower. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Okay, let's cut out a few more of those. Let's kind of get an idea how we want to put them. So there's no right or wrong way. You just do what you like. So we are using the matte Mod Podge. So we're just going to pour a little bit in here. Don't pour too much. You don't want to waste any more than right you have here. to. Now this is one of my old sponges. I, I told you on my other craft, if you watched it, I will make a sponge out of anything. This is just some little tube of something that I put a rubber band through and tied it. It, it, it does not matter what your sponge is. And I'm thinking maybe makeup sponges would work really well. So when I'm at the Dollar Tree, I'm probably going to look for some of those. These little things were in a paintbrush set. So I may end up using those. But to begin with, I want to use the big one. Because we just want to... And there's some broken places. But that's okay. We'll start over here. So you just want to go ahead and dab some on. To get your area good and... Um, coated and make sure you get it down in the basket weave because that's the part that's going to make it look like you painted it on so, okay just kind of tap it down and then come back with a little bit more of your mod podge and just go right over the top just kind of gently at first just to get a coating on it then we're going to get on it <laughs> So just coat the top. Now, work it in. Work it in. Get it into the, the weave of the basket. You don't want it sticking up. So if you have to get a, a little bit of pressure on it, then... Uh, now, this does not work on big weaves. It just, in my experience, it just does not work on big weaves. I'm going to need this little... See, I got a spot right there that's not wanting to stick. I'm thinking this one might do. You know why? Because the, um, hold on, I need to get my tweezers. I don't know if you can see the edge of that napkin folded up under there. So let's carefully see if we can get it out without tearing. We may not be able to. We may just have to leave it. I'm 
Well, I'm just pushing more up in there. There it comes. Yeah. Starting to tear just a little bit, so let's just leave well enough alone. Nobody's going to notice. Now, tell me, does that not look like you painted a flower on your basket? So let's continue to put some more on. going to try this one and if I don't like it because of the white then I would simply turn it around to the back and put more of these on the front you'll never see it I wish I had brought that down a little bit more, but I, I can work with that. That white is doing exactly what I had hoped it would do. Blending in and showing the black outline so it still looks like a white flower. Oh, I think this is my favorite. I think this is going to be my favorite. Now let's get started on this one. Okay, I think I'm through with this one. Now I just need to go back and go around this top just a little bit better. This is just my white acrylic paint that I got at the Dollar Tree. Okay, that looks a little bit better. I taped up those holes in there, so when the seeds are completely dry, we will put some plants in them. And here we have them in the window. Don't judge my herb growing skills, because I'm not good at it. This is only residual sunlight. I think they turned out really pretty. Okay, we're gonna get started. <laughs> we're gonna get started on this again. This is my little basket. I will insert what it looked like when I got it from Wanda's. I've spray painted it in off white. You might can see some remnants of Mod Podge. That is because the one napkin that I got from the Dollar Tree that was my most favorite because I love these designs. I thought this is gonna work. So I cut out little um, pieces. This one I knew was too big. This one and this one were not until I got them on there. And I started looking at it and I didn't like the way it looked. So I went around and I raked it all off before it got hard. Then I'm like, okay, well, this is my second one because I said I don't like the seashell, but I think I can work with the designs around it. Well, I wanted to go with the dark. So I took it out and started trying to work with it. No go. Out. <laughs> the one that I thought was not going to work because the pattern is too big 
is the one I think is going to work the best. I've already, you can see, I've already started cutting. Um, if you can see, there's a wheel behind that, so I'm having to cut around it. There is the handle around that, so I'm having to cut around that. This, if you can see, it is a bucket with flowers in it. I'm just, I don't want that in front of it, so I'm just taking and cutting there and making it like a little, just a little bouquet. I'm going to try this and see if it will show up because this is a kind of a big basket weave and so something small might get lost in there. But what I'm going to do, since I, I've laid it out and I think that's the way I want it, I've got most of them cut, so I'm going to finish cutting the ones that I don't. Now, this is a two-ply napkin, and some of it's easier to pull apart than, <laughs> than other ones. But you want to take that back ply off, because the lighter it is, the more it's going to go into the weave and look like you painted it. So let's go ahead and cut these pieces. See right here. Nope. You know what I'm going to do? I'm put that all the way around the bottom. Is that not going to be a whole lot prettier? I think it is. Let's get Let me cut some more and I'll be back. Like it is. Now, let's go over here and use the heat gun. Okay, I'm telling you right now, if you don't have a heat gun, you're missing out. I got this on Amazon. It's linked below. I love it. All right. I don't know if I want to kind of dry brush it. I got a little bit dark, so I don't like that, but I can't decide if I want to dry brush a little of this Waverly Elephant chalk paint just to make it not be so white. I think I'm going to try to distress it just a little bit, and if it doesn't work, I will cover it up with my um, other Waverly chalk paint i think it'll cover it up if not <laughs> i'll just be stuck with what i'm stuck with this is what i say i don't i'm just going to dip it in here and i don't know if you can see what i'm doing down here i just have a corner on my paper that i just wipe all the paint off so there's like really none left on it that kind of gives it a little bit of like it's war and used I don't know if you can tell you probably can't tell from the lighting in here but it gives a little bit distressed look so like it's been used it's not so stark white I like that I like that a lot okay there you have it. Let's take it in the kitchen. Okay, here it is. This is this is not where it's going to end up, but it's where I can get a pretty decent picture. I think it looks very pretty. For me, very understated. <laughs> very understated. So, I got my little bags of tea in there so i think it turned out really really cute